Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning the week of September 12th through the 18th in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral Life Planner. And today I am using this mystery kit from School Prince Co. It was the July 2022 mystery and it's this like outdoor campfire bonfire type movie night type theme. And it came with a rose um, foil bundle, even though I chose not to use the foil bundle that it came with, but instead used a Caress Press movie, I think it's called Movie Night Movies foil bundle instead. And I did keep it rose gold. I was debating which color to get, but I figured I would just keep it rose gold. I mean, Andrea was onto something when she chose the rose gold foil bundle to use in the original kit, so I decided to keep with that idea and do the rose crest press since they actually do have the same rose um, as opposed to like other rose golds from other shops. And I love that I was able to incorporate like a specific movies theme foil bundle with this kit. I think it really tied that in really nicely. And I'm rearranging the stickers here because I decided last minute or not really last minute. I knew I wanted to color block it. I just completely forgot as I was laying down the base. So I'm rearranging everything to match the date headers so that I can color block um, in accordance with those date headers. So literally everything can be color blocked, even though I use icons like the icons and doodles and whatnot that I use, as long as it matches the kit, it's fine. Those I try not to color block, but everything else I do. So this is, I don't think anything significant happened this week, actually, I think it was just like a relatively normal week from what I rem I'm remembering. I just, um, I don't know, I just wanted to use this kit. I needed to use a fall kit and this was one of the fall kits that I had. Even though September is kind of, I do fall kits in September, but September is kind of like my anytime like darker colors. So not quite completely fall even though obviously this works well with fall because of the color scheme but it's not a true like leaves pumpkins you know fall theme spread if that makes sense so that's kind of when I throw in my first September it's my catch-all whatever random um month which I actually really like so now I'm just doing it like doing an extender I think this is the first or second extender I've ever used. I ha I don't really use them that often, but I've been trying to use them a little bit more and I really only used it because I wanted to use all of the full boxes that I ended up using. I, I really did enjoy this mystery. There's not a lot of mysteries that I'm like head over heels for, you know? Um, most of the mysteries when I receive them, I'm like, oh yeah, I like this, I'll use it. But there are very few mysteries that I would have purchased, like if it came in shop and not in the mystery. And this is one of them. I definitely would have purchased this one in shop just because I love the outdoor camping feel, even though it's like a backyard camping, which honestly is a little bit more my style because you have indoor plumbing still. Um, but the s'mores, the snack foods, it was just very much my vibe and I really like the way that it turned out. So although I did use the, cause at this point, Caress Press foil bundles did not include, it's like her older format. So it didn't include the tall box overlay. So I pulled in a star tall box overlay from School of Prints Co. Because if you notice, there's a lot of stars in the Caress Press foil bundle. So I thought that they would coordinate nicely. And I just ended up really liking how this turned out. So I'm gonna start with the day by day since I usually get caught up and ahead of myself even. So as I'm finishing laying down the base, you'll verbally hear me talk about the day by days, which will eventually catch up at some point, whenever that may be. So starting with Monday, it was a normal Monday. I watched YouTube. Um, that's a lot of the uh, channels that I subscribe to post their plan with me's on Mondays, including myself, even though I don't subscribe to myself. But anyway, um, so I watched that and got caught up with that. Um, I had an appointment. I honestly don't remember what the appointment was. All I did was use the appointment script from Caress Press, the one that came with the foil bundle. So I don't really remember which one it was, but I just marked that I had an appointment for something, did some laundry, did my filming, and then 
In the afternoon, I did some work, had a GSA meeting, which stands for Graduate Student Association. It's, I mean, it's basically the governmental body of the grad students um, at my school since I am in school still. And then we had a movie night. I honestly don't remember which movie we watched. I typically do mark the individual movie that we watch, but again, because this was a complete foil bundle. It came with a lot of scripts. I wanted to make sure I used those scripts and one of the scripts was movie night. So I decided to use that and then I also used a munchkin from Once More With Love, which reminds me if you have any questions regarding where any of the stickers came from, please let me know in the comments down below, preferably with a timestamp. I will say the majority of the stickers either came from the kit, which is Scribble Prince Co., or from the foil bundle, which is Caress Press. The character stickers that I use are Once More With Love and the Coffee Monsters Co. I don't really use any other shops. So um, honestly, I'm pretty sure most stickers, unless I made it myself, which I do make my own scripts, you'll see at the end. Um, if it's not one of those shops that I mentioned, it probably, that's probably the only stickers that I use, but I'll get through them anyway. Moving on to Tuesday, it was a cleaning day. So I did some cleaning, even though I don't do cleaning day like for the whole day. I just do a little bit of it. But again, because I had that script, I just decided to use it. I worked on the budget a little bit more. I tried to check in with the budget like two or three times a week, like once every other day, every two days or so. Uh, did some work, met with my advisor as I usually do on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then Tuesday uh, night slash evening, we went to trivia as we always do. Um, this is something that I have really been enjoying and honestly, it's really the only time I get out of the house. So um, we look forward to trivia every week. It's with a lot of Colton's uh, work friends. Moving on to Wednesday, a one of my lab mates had a practice talk. So I attended that for, I think it was for one of her, for a conference or for her department, our department seminar can't remember. Either way, our lab, we practice our talks with each other and then give feedback. So I had that. I did some work and then I had another meeting with my undergrad students. So I'm part of a graduate undergraduate mentorship program. So I just had a meeting with my undergrad student. Um, Colton and I had a date night. I can't remember where we met or where we met, where we went that night. Again, I just used that foil script from the kit or from the foil bundle. So I I don't remember where, but I'm, I marked it with a burger. So we might've just gone to like Rosemary's or something, which is just like a local diner. Um, and then we watched some movies, which I did mark with the Netflix script sticker from the kit, the bundle, sorry. I'm gonna use those interchangeably. Um, on Thursday, I had Fish Lab coffee break as I always do on Thursdays, followed by some work. And then I did some planning and followed up. I, it says family time, but I used a cupcake. So I'm, I'm thinking that I used a cupcake icon or doodle, whatever you want to call it. So I'm thinking that it was just someone's birthday and we had a birthday dinner with probably his grandparents or one of our neighbors. I don't remember their birthdays off the top of my head, but it was probably one of those because honestly, those are the only people we really have dinner with. So moving on to Friday, this was the day that I used an extender, even though I didn't really need to. I just wanted to use that extra full box, but I um, marked that I melted some wax, did some work, had a meeting with my advisor as well as another lab mate. I forgot what we talked about. It might've just been a social catch up um, since she's still in Miami and I'm in California. So it might've just been a social visit, but either way. Um, I cut some stickers, caught up on some YouTube. We had a delivery, which I did not mark where it came from. It was pro it might have been a, oh no, we didn't sign up for HelloFresh at this point. So I'm thinking it was Amazon or something. And then those stickers I used to mark for designing stickers, which I do every once in a while. I usually notate design stickers in my planner to mean designing my script stickers that I use in my planner because I mention this every single week, but I hate my handwriting. So I make my own script stickers and I do that after the fact. So when I mark design stickers in my planner, that's typically what I mean. And then I marked workout, which was really just a walk um, in the summer months. Christina, which is my mother-in-law, we walk around the neighborhood. We did that every once in a while. Um, just to get some steps in to get some exercise because it is a little hilly where we live. So it actually is kind of a workout. Moving on to Saturday, which you see I skipped a little bit. Um, I had a phone call with um, my friend's mom because we were planning her. I think this is when we were planning her bridal shower, like her virtual bride, a surprise 
bridal shower because it unfortunately had to get canceled as I mentioned in a previous week which I'll go ahead and link that plan with me up above if you're interested. But since her original in-person bridal shower unfortunately had to be canceled, we decided to make a surprise virtual one, which you'll see in a few weeks from now. Did some laundry, edited a few of these videos. We went to Teriyaki Bowl for lunch, which is like a local Panda Express, basically. Um, we watched the football game for my alma mater, University of Miami. And then Colton and I ended the evening by playing Lego Batman, which is the current video game that we're playing together. Uh, did some wedding planning Sunday morning, went to Target and World Market, and then I Skyped my parents like I always do on Sundays. We watched the Bears game, which I typically don't watch football, so I, I think we only watched the Bears game. They might have been playing the Packers this week, which my fiance is a Packers fan. I'm a Bears fan. I'm from Chicago, so that might be why I watched the Bears game that week. Otherwise, I have no idea why I would have watched it. And then I ended the day by reading. So soon you'll see the stickers that I have left over, which you'll see that there's quite a lot because this is an ultimate kit. I don't really use that many stickers compared to the amount of stickers that are included with the ultimate kit. And then you'll see what the final spread looks like with all the scripts and that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.